Welcome back folks, this is your old pal Hondo for another tutorial on how to sharpen a machete. Um, now this is in particular with the Imacasas, you don't really have to do this with the uh, Tramontinas. The Tramontinas, you don't need to use a file to sharpen these. You can, just to put a, you know, a, a quick bevel and edge on it. But these Imacasas, as you can see, Imacasa, this is the uh, 18 inch Imacasa machete. This is a really great 1075 carbon steel machete, 2010, 22 inch overall in length. It's a Latin machete, it's got a polypropylene handle, full tang deal. It's got a lanyard loop on it. I used this one in the field for years, probably two or three years. This is just how to put a primary edge on your Imacasas or your. Uh, uh, basically, the Imacasas, you know, they they come with uh, unground spines. You may want to put, like, right here, I put a uh, primary 90-degree uh, spine right here, just right here to strike a fair seam rod and strip bark. Um, but they don't come with a nice 90-degree spine, so you're going to have to put one on it with a file. But this is how you're going to do this with a file. First, what you need is a uh, vice grip. is a big vice like this. If you don't have a vise, you can put it on a brick like this and take a file and you go down the blade like this until you get a primary edge on it. You go down like this until you get a primary edge on it and you do the opposite way like this and holding the blade down into something like a brick. I see a lot of people going like this, you know, sharpening it like this. No, you want to keep it away from your body. And this is to put a primary edge on this first. Um, when they come to you, they come unground and very, very, very blunt with a thick, thick blade. So you're going to have to go like this until you get a primary edge on it all the way to the tip until you bust through the uh, unground bevel. And then when you got both of them even with the file like going like this with it straight and you got to go along with the bevel make sure you got a 90 degree on the bevel and then go down the edge until you get the edge straightened out you do it with the vice grip too by holding it in the vice grip in a vice like this and then taking your file and going down the edge but you got to hold the back end of the edge like this to get it done until so you can get it to the very bottom like this to make the edge straight. You have to repeat the process by moving the vise to the other side and flipping the, the edge around to the other side when you, move the, uh, when you move the blade over to do it that way. But by doing this, you bust through the uh, unground bevel to make the edge. I would not recommend using a a metal grinder because it could knock the heat treat off of your machete. But those are two methods to bust through the uh, the unground edge. But when you're done and you've got a somewhat of an edge on your machete, then the uh, sharpening process begins. What you want to do with the, once you get that down like this, the edge down the way you want. This is the sharpening process afterwards. You go at a 90 degree uh, and go with the uh, convex edge with the file and then move the edge down like that and slide the file down the uh, machete to sharpen the edge and make the edge even with the other side. You don't have to go hard. You just do this to straighten the edge out after you bust an edge on this with the file put it down on the brick like this and then you go down the edge like this with the file until you get it sharpened don't want to do it too hard just you know enough to put an edge on it you might want to put a little bit of WD-40 or motor oil on this when you're doing that so it kind of gives it a nice oil type of sharpen but this is all you need to do to sharpen your machete with a uh, file. You just go over it like this 
you might want to wear a pair of gloves, I'm not, but, you know, but once you get it down evenly, you should have a decent working tool edge on this, and basically it's, it's sharp enough to do what you need to do. The edge on this is uh, pretty even. The bevel up is like right up to here on the machete. So if you're going to use it as a draw knife or a tool to, you know, make feather sticks, it, it should. Um, show you how sharp it is now. Okay, I'm going to show you how sharp it is now. Sharp as a razor blade. There you go. So great working edge now on it. But that's how you put an edge on a machete for your working tool. Um, it's as sharp as a razor blade now. Now the process to grind down your spine. This also works for your uh, bushcraft knives too, like a mora. If you don't have a mora, you can do this on a machete. What you want to do is you want to cinch, uh, you want to cinch your uh, machete down in a vise like so. It doesn't really matter with a machete if you break, the, if you scratch the edge on it. It really doesn't matter. You uh, cinch it down really as tight as you can. Mind your hands, by now, the way. Um, this process is uh, sharpening the spine a little bit, just like up to here on the machete, so it'll strip bark. I've already did it, but I'm going to touch it up a little bit and show you how the process works. Uh, you can take a little bit of motor oil, stick it on the back of it to kind of help the, you know, just, you know, just put a little dab of oil on it, like right here. It'll help it kind of glide a little bit, not too much. You don't want to put too much on there, just a, a little light coat of oil. Helps the uh, file, you know, helps the file grind it down. But you want to go at this type of angle with the file at a certain degree and then go like this on the back of the file. This also works for a mora to so put a 90 degree spine on it to flatten the spine down. Right here you're going to have to get a little bit, like going towards the edge here, you're going to have to get real close to the handle. Nice 90 degree spine on this so you can strike a fair CM rod, no problem. And there you go. It's a 90 degree spine. I'm going to take this piece of wood. I'm going to go over it and show you kind of scraping. It's There you go. It's scraping shit right here. Scraping this wood pretty good. Now, it scraped the wood pretty good, as you can see right here. Now, on the other spot right up here is where it's not ground. It doesn't scrape where the crap, as you can tell. It doesn't scrape up here, but where I put the 90 degree spine, it's scraping good now. So there you got a 90 degree spine. And if I can get this thing out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. Oh, dang it. There you go. That's how you sharpen a machete. Put a 90 degree spine on it. I'm going to show you clearing some brush with this machete. Very, with a little less ease. Clears through this brush. Look at that shit. Just cut right through it. Sharp as a razor blade now. We'll cut through just about anything. Cut through the brush. There you go. Cut through brush. Sharp as a razor blade now. And we'll also, uh, It'll also carve. You see that? It carves like nothing. And this thing will carve too. Once you put a really good edge on it, 
that was light brush chopping right there, folks, for you. What this thing could do for light brush chopping. I'm going to have to clean that up anyway, so that's kind of like... Uh, okay, folks, over. to show you how tough this Imacasa machete really is, we're going to do a demonstration on how you would make kindling in a campsite. I mean, little or less ease with smaller stuff. See how sharp it is now? It'll cut like nobody's business. It's 18 inches, so the, all the weight is at the front of the machete. One hit. One hit. Another hit. Now we got some three inch diameter type of wood right here. One hit. One hit. Broke it up. Okay, we got another three inch diameter piece of wood here. We're going to chop. Chops it with one hit. Another hit, one hit, one hit, couple of hits, this one's a little bit harder, there you go, good machete, feels real well balanced, get a really good machete pinch on it. There you go. Great machete. It's got the edge is still holding up on it. Now we're going to do a four inch diameter piece of wood. Oh my god. Blade's really thin. Oh, it's stuck in there really hard. <laughs> there you go. Chop it in half. Uh, now the blade will get stuck in there a little bit harder than a Tramontina. But it will chop good nonetheless. There you go. Stupid wooden away. It's a little bit harder wood. There you go. Four inches of wood. No dinging on the edge whatsoever with the uh and Mikasa 18 inch Latin machete. Uh, let's try how this thing batons with a thin edge like this. Latin machete here folks try some uh, some small task work with it make a feather stick it does nice carving as you can see it just, it's just carving the wood really well you can make feather sticks for sure the wood's a little knotty but it is what it is you want to carve a tent peg, you want to notch, this thing will notch as well. As you can see, we're going to do a little notch, like press, cut work right here with it. And there you go. It does press cut really good. You can make ten stakes with it, no problem. And it's it's still sharp. There you go, folks. That's been the Emicasa, how to sharpen your machete. Imacasa type of El Salvadorian 1075 machetes when you get them. Tough machete, a little bit more flexible than a Tramatina, but still a great machete. Um, highly recommend them. Can't recommend them enough. Uh, I'm going to show you how this, uh, you know, makes uh, the bark, it'll strip bark now, or it'll uh, make like Maya dust. If you're using this for, uh, there you go. Made shavings really easy with it. It's a great bushcraft machete. If you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a machete, um, it's a great buy. Go ahead and get it. Um, I highly recommend these Emacasa machetes. They're tough as nails. And a great buy. It's been the 18 inch Emacasa Latin machete. How to sharpen it and modify the spine and chopping with it. Hope you all like this video. Y'all know what you can do. You put God first, he puts you first every time. And you know what else, YouTube? God loves you, so does Hondo. Peace out, YouTube.
Yeah.